Good morning, everybody. Um, it is day two in Stelvio, but at the minute, it's not looking the best. There's got a bit of rain, but it's tipping it down. So, um, yeah, let's see if we get up. Um, so I'm gonna go up and help set the course with Coach Dave. And yeah, so I'll try and video a little bit, but if not, I'll see you up there after the course is set in a little bit of the rain. It's gonna be a wet one. Yeah. As you can see, there is no skiing yet. Um, it has been not canceled yet, but delayed. Look at the window. We're still raining pretty heavy, so yeah. Gonna get some more breakfast, second breakfast, and hang out for a bit and see if we get up. If not, make another plan. Hello everybody, we are still, still waiting. Of... Amy, I'll say. It's me, enjoy it. Hello. We're still waiting, it is still raining. We're playing, what are we playing? Photo Roulette. Mm -hmm. Which is Fantastic a good game, we should try it. Vedica. Right, oh yeah. What? Oh god damn! What? Oh, that that is so wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I did Dave get that wrong. <laughs> I'm just slow oh, at finding the person's name. Oh, I see Nana. Oh, there you go. Man. <laughs> 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 I know who that man is. I've met that man. What is that? I see that tight fitting shirt. I know it's Finley. It's not one of his mates. No, no, it's one of his mates. How do you know that? What are you talking about? Playing spike ball instead. I'm sat in the corner. <laughs> so I am sat in the corner. I've not won a game yet. I've lost every single time. I think I'm pretty good, but obviously not. The results speak for themselves. We're in the zone. It's actually quite even, but we're better than we were. Oh my gosh, you Oh my god, I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. Hello. I forgot to film most of today because, yeah, I forgot because I'm not used to this. But some fitness, two sets of fitness, spike ball, and then a proper fitness. Um, bit of games on the film with everyone. And now we're going for a shower, dinner time soon. Yeah, still raining. This is the second take. Still raining. Pretty moving out there. Just fingers crossed for tomorrow, really. Hoping it changes and we can ski some salon tomorrow. It's part of the sport, fortunately. It's starting to snow, look. You can see the top of that car. There's startings of snow, which is better than rain, but not really for racing. We want neither. We want cold conditions to freeze the snow so it's nice and hard and good for racing. But I'm not sure we're going to get that. We'll see what we get tomorrow. Because I forgot to film everything today, I'm going to use my initiative. I'm going to show you. It's going to be pretty boring if you can, if you normally ski or if you ski race, but I'm going to show you what I bring to training every day in my big bag. So most people, it's half packed because I didn't go skiing this morning. So most people take a massive bag like this. Pretty much everybody that ski races takes one of these every day to training. It's like 100 liters, I think. And basically everything that we need for the day is chucked in here. So this one, you've got. So ski race boots have shells and inners, so we put that on first and then that one. Different to normal ski boots. So we put them in. I'm not going to pack them out properly. Put them in there, in, in here, in the back protector. Gloves, I've got another set somewhere. Goggles. Um, helmet. And then these ones change depending on if you're doing GS or slalom. Most people have a chin guard. I don't, because I'm a bad man. Um, this is an essential. The stool, the little stool, you chuck that in the side here, like that, in that pocket, and you've got a little stool. So when you're up in the glass here, you've got your sore ski boots, the race ski boots are really tight, so when you've got these sore ski boots on, you can rest your little tired legs. Um, that's a real essential. Another essential, 
is like a thermos flask for coffee. Coffee on the race home. So they're my essentials, not really essentials. Back protector, so you don't break, if you hit your back, you don't break it and end up in lots of pain. And you normally have some pads, so for slalom, because we're doing slalom tomorrow, I'm gonna pack these. These go on your shin, and you hit the gate like this, across there. And the three other ones, you have ones on your arm, because you hit them on your arm. Um, and also yeah, you've got your jackets and your, and all your spare layers in case it rains or if you get cold and stuff. But I've not actually packed my bag yet, but I'm gonna do it. And that is pretty much everything that goes in. A snack, water, um, yeah, and we bring that up the hill and then we get changed close to the race hill because it's not good to walk in these really because they get damaged and then it sort of makes it all uneven because these are pretty precise things, even though these are pretty dirty, I'm getting a new pair soon. Um, and they're really uncomfy to wear and walk in. So racers tend to carry a big bag around and walk in normal shoes until you're right at the race hill, opposed to when you're on your ski holiday and you just put your boots on, you have them on all day. These guys are not nice to have on all day. Got some like spare, tuning kit in case my skis aren't quite sharp enough or anything in there. Is that interesting? Let me know. But it's more interesting than nothing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna pack it now. I'm gonna pack it on camera. It's a big old bag. I'm not sure, do other sports have this size of bag? I'm not sure, it's a big old hefty thing and voila, interestingness, probably not. Ready to go for tomorrow. Hoping that we do get up, but it's still tipping it down.